In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four fold brochure design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added four options or four steps you can see here. So this is the option A with the icon and you can add your title here and the detailed text can be added here. So for the option B, a different color has been given. So likewise C and a D. Either you can use this as a brochure design or you can use this for the four options infographic slide also. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint add a new slide and i'm going to add four rectangles of the same size so that it uh, covers the whole slide to know the size of the slide go to design slide size and select custom slide size and you can see here the width is 13.33 so i'm dividing this by four for example let me just open the calculator i'm just saying 13.33 divided by four so it's 3.33 so each rectangle should be of the width 3.33 so go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline make it no outline and the width you make it 3.33 you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and give some different color and then again duplicate give some different color and later on we can change the colors not a problem and control d again and i'm going to give some different color so you can see here this is uh, the same size rectangles we have created which is covering the whole slide now let's change the color you can choose any color of your choice so first rectangle i'm going to format and i'm going to choose a kind of a rose color and then the other one I'm going to select uh, orange color or gold color you can see here then I'm going to select this teal color and then the last one I'm going to select uh, some dark teal color so you can see here the four color combination I've selected as uh, you can as per your request you can just or a requirement you can just change the the colors then go to insert shapes and I'm going to select from the rectangle can you see here the last one which is the rectangle top corners rounded draw a small rectangle something like this you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to select white color and just rotate it you can see here I'm rotating left 90 degrees and make sure to attach this one and if you want to increase the size the height of it you can just increase as per your requirement now if you want to edit this shape right mouse click edit points you can see here let me just zoom in and this point which is the bottom right i'm just going to drag it down you can see here i'm just dragging it down make sure it is straight and then you can see here the two small squares and then this square i'm just going to just uh, move it towards the top so the shape something looks like this you can see here and then I'm going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate I'm going to give a shadow effect so for that I'm going to give a black color right mouse click go to format shape and I'm going to increase the transparency maybe 60 or 70 depending on the requirement you can keep it and then just put it here and then just send this to back and just move up somewhat so you can see here the shadow effect has been created and here I'm going to add the text. I'm just going to say a step or option or page one, whatever you can see here. Maybe I can just say page. And then I'm just going to choose the font called uh, Century Gothic or any other font of your choice. You can choose it, center align, you can see here. And I'm going to use the same color which I have used for the background, which is the gold color, sorry, the rose color. And then press Ctrl D and I'm going to just make it one you can see here let me just make it bold increase the size and just keep it here so this is the page one now I'm going to select this only you can see here with the help of a mouse I'm just dragging this so this all this gets selected press ctrl G to group it and ctrl D to duplicate it so I'm just going to put it for each paper or rectangle so this is my page two this is page three or option or step three whatever you call it you can just change it and then i'm just going to use the same color this is the gold color and this also i'm going to change to gold color and this is the teal color you can see here and this also it's teal color and this is the dark teal 
so this is the dark color the same color i'm just going to copy it so you can see here so these options are ready now it's time to add some icons if you have the icons you can just go to insert and if you're using the latest version of powerpoint like 2019 or office 365 you got this uh, feature here if you don't have i have provided uh, uh, free downloads of the icons uh, on my channel you can just go and have a look so i'm just going to select some random you can see here some random uh, icons four icons i selected you can see here and then each one i'm just going to place it something like this you can see here and then i'm just going to select all of this by holding the shift key and under format graphics outline i'm going to make it white and graphic fill i'll make it no fill and if you want you can just increase the weight of this one you can see here you can increase the weight of the line so it looks something like this now let's add some detailed text and the title for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white and then i want to give some uh, shadow effect here for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering only this part shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select gradient fill you can see here and there are four stops by default i'm going to delete two stops and then one stop i'm going to select the black color you can see here and change the direction something like this and this one you make it white and transparency make it fully 100 percent and this also you can reduce the transparency so it looks something like this you can see here and then go to insert text box you can add the detailed text so i'm just going to add some latin text which is equals lorem within brackets one it will give me some latin text something like this and i'm going to justify it and i'm going to give some maybe uh, gray color reduce the size you can see here maybe 12 and if you want you can make it more darker also and go to insert and i'm going to add one more shape maybe i'm going to add this shape which is the arrow pentagon draw the arrow pentagon shape outline no outline shape fill make it white fill and i'm going to rotate it you can see here rotate left 90 degrees and exactly put it in the center something like this then once this is done i'm just going to add the title here you can see here I will just say your title again center align white font make it bold choose the same font or any font of your choice increase the size and just put it here so you can see here it's done and if you want to make it somewhat down also you can just select all by with the help of a mouse and you can bring it down then I'm going to group this Press, press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm just adding here you can see here let me just add it again ctrl d and ctrl d and make sure that this is properly aligned i'm just going to select and align top and i want to give some uh, 3d effect here at the bottom for so got go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a small rectangle here you can see here covering all the this one and maybe this much size we can keep it shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black and you can give some transparency effect so it gives as a shadow effect or a 3d look so this way you can just do something like this and if you want you can add the title and if you have some more details also you can add it at the bottom